Hello, today we're uh, in mild February, which is quite amazing. We're up at uh, one of the holiday camps, which is now closed, which is behind me. See all the caravans. Um, we're actually going to go and see some standard hexagonal pillboxes, which are sitting on the cliff edge. Um, if I show you. Um, in the opposite direction. That's the cliff in the distance. Speed and Venter. There's a little bit that's lie at the bottom of the cliffs. And uh, there was various pillboxes along this piece of coast, obviously in defence of Britain in World War Two. So I thought it's good to look at uh, some examples of them. Coop with me. Hello Mr. Coop. Can't believe how mild it is for uh, this time of year. So how far north we are. As opposed to people who do this down in sunny Dover and sunny Cornwall and places like that. normally have driven my car right up into this corner but with it being closed I don't want them to shut the gate. The gate front gate is actually open but I don't want them to, sh to shut the gate on me. So we've just got a little bit further to go. Let me see the first one now. with a bit of greenery on the top. Oh, there she is. Pretty much the standard shape of the top box that we found around here. see much inside. It's quite damp. Oops, like that. Try and put a try and put a torch on. I'm struggling because I've got the dog with me. Deeper than I thought. <laughs> it's actually not in that nick. There's a nest up there. But you can't put any fur because uh, you need wellies. <laughs> right on the edge of the cliff. It probably would have been a bit further in inland, well where it is but there'd be more <laughs> there'd be more cliff edge in front of us. Let's go around the front of it without falling down the cliff. If we can. Come on Coop. Coop doesn't like this. cool one that's quite dry there's actually another one up on top of the hill there on a mound next to the old coast guard buildings which is the house with the tall chimney and the wood in front of us is called Bolton Wood there was a German Junkers 88 hit the edge of a farm which is just behind where that caravan is 
hill hit the top of the farm and the, one of the engines rolled down into Bolton Wood. Everything was recovered at the time, obviously to be analysed by the RAF boffins. And the bottom of the bottom of the uh, in the bottom of the wood is a beck or a stream, and that was uh, posted off with barbed wire. Stubble picket posts, the curly pigtail shaped posts to, to carry the barbed wire down there. I'm saying there's another pillbox pill along here, I'm sure there is. I'll look a fool if there isn't one. <laughs> really where above where there's a field of sheep and then there's a load of green heather on the side of that dark green heather on the side of that hill um, right at the end of the southern end of that heather there was a second Junkers 88 crashed on the same night 10th of July 1941 they were approaching the cliffs having been on an anti-shipping raid there's three of them approaching the cliffs that we see in front of us and it was they were covered in mist and they didn't realise the cliffs were there and never hit them. see all the dragon's teeth, the concrete blocks on the shoreline there, and the tides coming in or going out, whichever. They were to stop the enemy landing their landing craft on the beach and getting tanks. Valley, but they didn't bother with the rest of the four miles of the 